Hey guys, so the other day I posted in my Facebook uh, DTF journey group uh, asking what people wanted to learn about in CAD link and Photoshop. So I'm going to do a tutorial on something um, that was requested for CAD link. And by no means am I an expert of either CAD link or Adobe. It's just the programs that I choose to use. For my DTF stuff. All right, so one of the requests was how to duplicate images in CAD Link. Um, so let me pull up an image. All right, this is my image here. So if I click on the image, my property panel down at the bottom will pop up for the job, and you're going to want to hit duplicate. So this is where you would enter how many duplicates you want to create. So I'm going to make two. So it's going to be a total of three images that I'll have. So as you can see, it did create two additional images. What I do like about the duplicate feature is that each of these are all independent. Okay. So I can make changes to these. I can move them. Um, resize them I don't know why that one's not moving okay um, if I click out of off the image and just click onto a white space or empty space my page tab will pop up so here I can go and nest page or nest all and what I want to do is nest the page and they'll organize this for me. So this is good when you're doing like gang sheets or um, just a design that has different size for different size shirts. You can make adjustments to each one of them. All right, so that's the duplicate feature. Um, let me bring a different image. Okay, so here is an image. Um, just real quick while I'm doing this and I'm here. So there's a lot of dead space around or beside her. And to crop that out, um, because you want to utilize as much space of your page as you can uh, for certain type of projects. But anyways, um, click on the, the image and go into crop. It's going to bring up the image. And you basically are going to just draw a box closer as you can get it. You can also make the adjustments um, over here for where you want to move her. You can, uh, yeah. Okay. And then you can also make adjustments to the size. So let's see if I can't, oops, chop it off her feet. Let me just move this. That looks pretty close to me. So when you get it to how you like it, go ahead and hit create. And as you see, it kind of shrunk the image a bit. All right, so the other way of making duplicates is to click on the image, come down to your job properties, and hit copies. So as you see, it made two copies. If I click on it again, so this is the one downfall about the copy feature that I don't personally like. It's like they tie all the copies together. So this whole thing moves. It's not independent images. Um, but you know, if it doesn't matter to you, then it's not a big deal. So you can change, um, how many rows or how many columns you want to add of the image. So for instance, down here, this will give me how many rows to make copies of her. Again, if I add another column, it'll do another column for me of a copy. Again, this whole entire thing is one image now. You could go in there and uh, 
we'll change it back down as well. All right, so there was, um, just to go back, you know, I covered the duplicate feature. I, co I covered the copy feature and also put in the crop um, utility tool in there. And um, so anyways, hopefully this helps you with making, you know, faster copies of an image instead of trying to import it each time. If you have any questions, feel free to post in my group and we'll get the answer for you. Thanks guys.